Here I will be showing you how to create a flash file for your RTL design and then boot uh, your uh, FPGA from, the, from this flash device. For this demonstration, I am using the uh, Xilinx AC701 evaluation board from uh, Xilinx which is having an Arctic 7 FPGA. This board supports two uh, configuration modes, one is the JTAG mode and the other is the QSPA flash mode. So this board is having a built-in QSPA flash which you can use for storing your program. Now for your reference, these are the different steps involved uh, in creating the uh, flash file and then uh, putting the flash file onto the flash device and then booting uh, the FPGA from this uh, flash device. Now we will uh, go through it one by one. The first step is to complete your RTL design. Uh, in this case, I am using a very simple uh, RTL design where I am switching on one LED on the evaluation board. Once your RTL design is uh, uh, developed and completely tested, you can start the steps for uh, converting your bitstream into your flash uh, file. So the first step is to create a separate constraint file in which we will be storing the bitstream configurations. So for that first you create a new constraint file, so just click on the constraints, create, uh, add or create uh, constraints, click on the create file and you can give any name. And click finish. Now a new constraint file is created. Just right click on that and set this as the target constraint file. Then uh, this bitstream, uh, this uh, constraint file will be using only for the implementation phase. So just right click on that and define this as the uh, implementation uh, constraint file. So, uh, so click on the set use in and uncheck the synthesis option we will be using only in the implementation and click ok now go ahead with the synthesis of your design complete the synthesis phase wait till the synthesis is completed now the synthesis is completed you can open the synthesized design just click on the open synthesized design. Once the synthesized design is open, just go to this tools menu. Click on the edit device properties. Now in this uh, uh, window, you can see different options related to the bitstream configuration. You can go to the configuration tab. And here you will have different options since we are uh, going to use uh, QSPI option here, uh, go to the SPI uh, portion and uh, choose the bus width, by default it will be chosen as none, change it to 4 since we are using the QSPI mode and other options in this tab can be left as such and just go to the configuration mode and we will be using the master SPI uh, QSPI mode which is uh, into 4, so select this master SPI X4 option so these are the only two changes you need to do in the edit device properties. Uh, once you click OK, these options will be saved into the constraint file which you have generated. So just click OK. And then uh, save the design. Save the changes. These changes will be saved to the bitstream uh, file which you have generated now. Sorry, the configuration file which you have created. So now you can close the synthesized design. And uh, if you open and see the uh, configuration constraint file which you have generated, you can see that the uh, um, configuration of the bitstream has been updated in this uh, particular file. Now you can go ahead and create the bitstream file for your uh, design. So just uh, go to generate bitstream and click OK. Now it is generating the uh, bitstream. 
Now the bitstream generation is completed. Now you need to convert this bit file into uh, the flash file. For this, uh, you can directly go to the tools and uh, generate memory configuration file option. This needs to be selected. So here you have two options uh, for selecting the uh, type of the format of the file. You can select uh, MCS file or bin file. So we'll go ahead with bin file which is uh, smaller in size compared to an MCS file. And you also need to select the memory part. Uh, you can refer the data sheet of your um, evaluation board. Uh, and uh, for Arctic 7, AC701 evaluation board, uh, I, it is having a micron uh, flash of size 256 uh, MB. So if you refer the data sheet of your evaluation board, you can find out the uh, exact part number of the uh, flash which is uh, present on your board. So for AC701 board, this is the uh, even, uh, part which is which needs to be selected. The 3.3 volt uh, flash is used on this particular board so click ok uh, then you need to give a file name for the uh, file which needs to be generated so give a file name and uh, click ok then you need to select the interface since we are using quad spi we will be selecting spi x4 and you have to select the bitstream uh, which you want to load so click on the load bitstream files and select the bitstream by browsing the generated bitstream will be located in the uh, project uh, folder this is the bitstream which has been generated now so I selected that bitstream other options you can leave it as such and just click OK. Now it's creating the bin file uh, from your bit file. The configuration file has been created. The next step is to program this uh, bin file which is generated onto the SPA QSPA flash on your evaluation board. For that switch on your board and then uh, open your hardware manager. Select open target and give auto connect. Now here you can see the FPGA which is present in your um, uh, evaluation board. So just right click on this and uh, select this add configuration memory device option and you have to select the uh, flash part number here so for this particular evaluation board I have to select the uh, micron 256 MB flash and the 3.3 volt part number and click OK so you can see the uh, uh, the memory device has been added here now you have to program this device so just click on this uh, right click on this and select the program configuration memory device option and uh, select the configuration file which you have already generated so you can browse to the respective folder and select the bin file this was the bin file which I have generated and you can leave other options as such and just click OK. So now it's programming the flash device. So first it will erase and then program. So that's going to take some time. Now writing onto the flash is completed. Now you have to change the configuration mode of the FPGA on your evaluation board to uh, boot it from the uh, QSPA flash. So for AC701, uh, this is the configuration of the switches required. That, uh, it is a switch 1. Uh, the three uh, switches you need to configure as shown here to uh, boot it from the QSPA flash. So once that is done, you can switch off your board and uh, switch it on again. Remember you have to close the hardware manager, otherwise when you switch on the board again, uh, it will try to connect to the target.
and uh, your uh, FPGA will not boot from the uh, flash device. So close the hardware manager and then uh, and then switch off your uh, board and switch it on again. Now your board should boot from the uh, flash device and uh, start running your uh, bitstream configuration file. Now if you have a processor in your design, uh, for example a microblaze processor implemented in RTL, then for running the uh, program for the uh, RTL requires some more, uh, for the processor requires some more steps which I will be explaining in another video.